Okay guys, so tonight Marie's got me showing you how to make jerky. So I'm gonna be using high mountain teriyaki jerky. It's really yummy. It's really good. What this is, just in the box. Deer meat and ground pork. It's just unseasoned ground pork. So you just look on your paper and it shows exactly how much to add everything. So we got a pound of deer meat and then maybe, I don't know how much that is, maybe half pound of ground pork. So for a, ground, a pound, you add two and a half, we'll go three because then with your curing salt, this is curing salt, you do uh, two tablespoons or teaspoons. So let Marie get over here and she'll do the measuring. Sorry, I have to find my, my cow. <laughs> So how many tablespoons? Mm -hmm. Three teaspoons. Three, three teaspoons. Like a normal teaspoon or heaping? Like my kind of teaspoon or your teaspoon? I do heaping because I like more seasoning on. And then I just do a level scoop on the curing salt. Trying to add more. I'm trying to do his scoop. Style because it was yeah. really good. It tastes better. Yeah. And then you'll do two teaspoons of curing salt. Two teaspoons? Okay. Yep. That we want to actually make sure. Yeah. And then you just mix it together. Fairly simple. Use your hands, mix it all together, get it blended good together. I don't add any liquid smoke or anything because I, I smoked my jerky on a smoker, so I'm not gonna add any liquid smoke or anything like that. Uh, with this though, it's not like store-bought jerky. So after you Smoke it, dehydrate it, make it in your oven, whatever you do, you do have to refrigerate this. You can't leave it in your car for a week and then go eat it. Like it's, it's there's gonna no get, preservatives. It, there's no preservatives. <laughs> it's gonna make you sick. Yeah, you're gonna get a little so, poisoning. <laughs> with this, they say seven days in your ice box. And then up to uh, I want to say it's like four months if you have it in a freezer. If you have it in a vacuum sealed bag, it'll stay in your freezer for a year. You know, just fine. So now that she's got that mixed up, so after it's mixed, you take and put saran wrap on the top, and that helps to add moisture to the meat, which you'll want when you're smoking it. So you just add the saran wrap on top, pull it tight, like that, and then I stick it in the refrigerator for 24 hours. And after 24 hours, I had the batch made up last night. You'll see the moisture on top. That's about three pounds right there. And you're lucky you don't have to wait the 24 hours to see the next step. So you just take off the grand wrap, throw it in the trash. Then have a jerky gun. This thing is awesome. And this is basically what it is. That's what it is. It comes with different 
attachments. You can do flat jerky, or you can do the links if you got the the casings that go on there, or you know. And then just regular old link style, but I, I like the flat. Fast yeah, everything that we're using, the seasoning, the jerky gun, all of it came from Bass Pro. That's like our date hangout. Yeah, we're not sponsored, so. Yeah, oh yeah, we're I don't not think sponsored. we are. <laughs> yeah, we're not that cool. <laughs> so, pretty much it's easy. Take this piece, take it inside this piece. Screw it on. Just like that. Just like that. And then you take your mixture and you just get your hand full and start shoving it in there. You can roll it in the balls, it makes it easier. Roll it in the balls. Oh yeah, it's, it's sticky from the Yeah, and you can really well y'all can't, but <laughs> we can. <laughs> it's sticky. You can smell the it smells so good. Seasoning in it really good. So what'll happen with this as you're pushing it in, it gets an air pocket. And you just keep working it down in there. And you'll you'll get it. So usually this thing will hold about about a pound, pretty easy. So we'll probably have to load it twice, which we won't make you watch it. <laughs> so it's pretty much. That's how you do this. And what I do, once I get a little bit full, you'll want to smash it down like that. Otherwise, when you go to screw this on, if it's all the way to the end like that, it won't let that screw on. So if you push it down and get it to start on that tip, like I did right there, wakes it way easier when you're screwing it on. And then it's just like a caulking gun. Here, let me try it size with you. So, well, Don't you all you do, squeeze the trigger. And then place your finger at the end, pull up. And then you just keep repeating the process. For however big a link you want. If you want them, I like them about that size. They fit good in a one gallon, or not one gallon, a sandwich bag. But you can do them 10, 12 inches long. It's up to you whatever you want. I like this size because I like the little bit of crispy ends. And then like you just that. keep going over and over. So cool. We're going to get this laid out and we'll be starting the smoker and I'll be, I'll show you how to smoke it and everything. Is there any special direction to lay it or? Yeah. You want to lay it this way. 
Jerky, I'm like, I can. So she's got a spatula. <laughs> All I do. He <laughs> made that look so easy. But I've done this way more than her. <laughs> this is my first time. I just eat it. So, spatula's fine if that's what you. No. We'll see how. I'll figure out a rhythm. What? It, uh, Closer? About a quarter of an inch. Otherwise, we'll run out of space. Okay. Once it's empty, I always take that little piece, stick it back in there. Some are easier than others. Yeah. Is it like something special in the jerky mix that makes it? stickier or is it just the seasoning? No, that's just the deer meat. The deer meat is what's so sticky? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you can take the deer meat, just ground deer meat, and it's going to be sticky. It's not like processed hamburger meat. I didn't grow up with deer meat like you did. Like I didn't never started really eating it until we got together. It's really good. Those are coming up nice. Maybe if they've been on a paper launder, they're easier to take off. Oh, yeah. Because you're taking the ones on the top row are easier than the bottom row. Get done. There's going to be that left. And I'll just take a butter knife. Just stick the butter knife down in there. If it comes out. And I'll take my little pieces. Basically, I just roll it up. And I'll take, put it on the paper, fold the paper over, and then just smash it out. And there's another jerky piece. Do you have to thin it or no? waiting patiently on the floor right now. They're like saying like a little prayer, hoping that something hits the floor. I don't know if you can hear the little <laughs> pitter patter of their feet, their collars. <laughs> They're so hopeful. <laughs> Sunshine's licking the floor, thinking something's there. It's puppy over there by your feet. No, I think he followed William. Oh. I'm sure you'll hear his little pitter patter here shortly. Sunshine is not leaving the kitchen. <laughs> She's been down there the whole video. <laughs> She's staring at you. She waits all. Now she's definitely not leaving. <laughs> Who could resist this face? <laughs> Sunny boo! Like, I don't want to put it by the jersey. Sunshine! Here. Um, Sunny poop, did you get a piece of the jerky? <laughs> Did you get a piece of the jerky? She said, yes. I want one when it's done, too. I'm getting the wood chips. Sunshine is, like, so hopeful. <laughs> they already done, but... You gotta Are you getting something? <laughs> Look at all the dogs. There's Jet Jet. There's Puppy. Ryder. 
Sunshine. Okay, so got them all laid out on the racks. Ray's got her rack. Voila. She sure does. Not anymore. <laughs> Ooh, you need laying some help, right in there. I move my racks up to the top, away from the heat. So, well, I mean, there's gonna be heat, but it's not directly on it. And then I always preheat my smoker. I'll run it at 200, so I preheat it. I have my tray of water here for moisture. You can kind of see it if I splash it. Then I close it. And then I wait till this gets back to 200 before I add my wood chips. Because I want it up to heat. That way when I add my wood chips, it smokes the meat instead of just sitting there slow burning. And here's my wood chips. I've already loaded it. Oh, that's all it requires? So pretty much this is mesquite, just the chips. You can buy it at Walmart, anywhere. And then I put four of the bigger chunks out of the bag Fifi showed you in there to kind of last longer. These will burn, will ignite super fast. Okay, so you have wood chips. Yes. And, and then, then you these, have wood chunks. Yeah, chunks. Okay, I, I see. I put four of oh, the chunks in they were different. with the chip. Oh yeah, they're way bigger. These, these, chips they ignite super fast they burn off super fast so i always put some of these in there to get a kind of a longer smoke out of them so so I, it's back at 205 and i'll add my wood chips and there we go so i got my timer set for two hours at 200 205 210 anywhere close to that and I just let it sit there and smoke and then in two hours we have jerky can't wait and then you'll break it and if it just bends in half it's not done mm -hmm. if it snaps in two it's done maybe overdone for what you like what I like whenever I break mine you can see the layers start breaking but it don't just completely break in half so we'll, we'll show you when it kind of depends on how you like it. If you like it really crunchy, a longer cook. If you like it like a noodle, less time. So it's been two hours. Pretty much all I'm doing right now is I'm gonna pull one piece off. It looks good. Mm -hmm. But I'll take this inside, lay it on the counter, get let it get to room temperature, and we'll bend it, and that will show you kind of where we're at. Uh, the reason you don't just do it right now is because it's still warm, so it's flexible. But after about five minutes, you'll bend it, and it'll show you if it's overcooked, undercooked, or perfect. So, got five minutes. Him's the most wantonest dog. Him's the most wantonest dog. Him's a wanton. He's a wanton. He's a what? Huh. He says, stop talking to him. Hmm. He's so toot.
Alright, so been with five minutes. And this is how I tested. It's been sitting for five minutes, room temperature. And then just split it in half. So yeah, it don't just completely break. It's still kind of connected. It's done. That's how I like mine. So. Yeah, some. Good. Mmm. That's really good. So. Recap. 200 degrees. Two hours. Close your smoker. Don't open it for two hours. Just mm. makes it perfect every time. It's awesome. Thank you and hope this helped. You have a good one. Bye-bye.